my name is Corinne and I'm going to show you how to make a Scandinavian angel. It's a kit that comes with everything you need. You get the instructions and the pattern. So you just need to cut out your pattern and transfer it to the felt. Cut out your felt pieces and stitch. Okay, so we're just going to start by making the face. You need to put the face piece onto the halo with the hair on top. And we're going to start with a simple overhand stitch. So simply go through all three layers of felt with small overhand stitches. So it's really simple, just going into the felt, coming out. Make sure you, you do go through all three layers. Really small overhand stitches. Okay, we don't want to stitch around the little buns of the hair. We're just going to stitch at the top of the head. All the way around. And because I'm using a brown thread, it becomes invisible really, so it's not showing onto the felt. Really small, discrete stitches. Okay, so as you can see, we can start to see a little face. And to make it come to life, we're going to make the eyes with a simple back stitch. So I'm, I'm not going to cut the thread because it's brown and I'm going to use it to make the eyes. And we're going to make a little curved line of back stitches. So with the back stitch, you simply go back underneath and then come out forward. So it's like one stitch back, one forward. And it creates a little line. So it's a little bit like drawing with thread. Okay. And to make our angel pretty, we're going to give her some eyelashes. So for the eyelashes, you simply make some straight stitches. Really simple. Just try to place them evenly. Just lots of little straight stitches going up to the curved line. So this is all illustrated in the kit. But you can see it's really, really simple. Okay, so this is one eye. She has her eyes closed because she's singing, obviously. Uh, and we would make the other eye and the mouth in the same way. So I'm just going to take one that I made earlier. This, this is the face. So we're going to keep this to one side. Okay, so we're now going to decorate the robe. And for this, I like to keep uh, the design quite simple, but you could have a lot of fun and use a lot of embroidery stitches. I've made mine with big buttons down the center, so I'm going to show you how to make one of them. I've done two already. We're going to place a third one at the top here. So again, it's just a matter of layering pieces. So I have a big brown one and a little pink one, and we're going to attach it to the robe with a lazy daisy stitch. So this is a really simple stitch that's really useful if you want to make the shape of flowers. So starting from the center of the button, just pull out the thread and then make a little petal shape with the thread. Okay, so just hold it with your finger, go back into the felt and then come out inside the petal shape. Okay, so my needle is coming out inside the petal shape and then pull really gently, not too hard, because we do want to keep that round shape at the end to look like a petal. And then I go back into the felt on the other side of the petal shape. So I think of it as a little bridge that's holding the petal in place. It's really simple. You can practice on a little bit of felt if you've never done this stitch before, but it's really, really simple. And then I always start from the center of the button again. I'll make another one going the other way. So again, making that petal shape, holding it, and then come out with your needle. 
inside and then go back into the felt on the other side of the petal. Okay, so we have two. We're going to make two more to make a, a little flower shape. that's three. If you have beads, you could add a few beads or you could add a few French knots. You could use some straight stitches. You, you can really experiment and have lots of fun. Okay, final one. There, we have our three buttons. I'm just going to finish at the back. Don't forget to always knot your thread at the back. Don't want things to unravel. And get it. Okay, so now we are going to stitch the wings. We have the wing piece. So it's two pieces that I've stitched together. And we're going to attach them to the back of the angel with a really simple straight stitch down the middle. So again, you could decorate your wings if you wanted to. You can add some French knots, some daisy stitches, all, all kinds of stitches to make them more ornate. But um, I like to keep mine quite plain and simple. Because I think with, um, with Scandinavian things, it's nice to keep them quite simple and fresh. So just a line of back stitches. The back stitch I'll show you again. You go back one step, come forward one step. And it creates a, a solid line of stitches. Okay, so we have attached the wings. Our angel can fly. And I'll just knot inside to keep it safe. And now we are going to attach everything together. Okay, so the two pieces of our rope together, the face, the hands, and the little boots. Okay, so we now need to make her little boots. Um, she's got lovely little red boots. And it's really simple. We just have two pieces per boot and we need to match them up and stitch them with an overhand stitch or a blanket stitch. So I'm just going to do a simple overhand stitch, hiding the knot between the two pieces so it will be inside. And with the overhand stitch, it's really simple. You just go in and out. Okay, and again, because we're using red thread on red felt, it doesn't really show. You don't have to worry about being too neat with your stitches because it's all part of the handmade look and it's what gives it charm, I think. <laughs> the fact that it's not regular, it's handmade. So really quickly going around the shape. You could add little shoelaces if you wanted to with a bit of brown or black thread. Okay, so when I've done about three quarters of the foot, the boot, I'm taking a tiny bit of toy filling, which comes in the kit as well, and putting it inside just to give it a little bit of volume and if you find it hard to push the toy filling inside you can just use scissors or a pen and just push it inside. Hold it. Don't worry about the top of the boot because that will be hidden. Okay so we just come back up to the top. and make a little knot. Okay, 
Okay, and cut your thread. You can cut the extra toy filling at the top. So then we have two, two little red boots. So now we have all the pieces, we need to assemble them. We have the robe, the head, two little pieces for the hands, and the boots. Let's use some white thread. With the thread, you get a six-stranded cotton, and because it's such a fine little project, you don't want the thread to be too thick. So it's a good idea to just pull out one thread or two for your stitching, especially for stitching around the robe and everything. We don't want it to be too big. Okay, a little knot at the end. Always difficult to make a knot <laughs> on camera. But there you go, there's a little knot. And we are going to start with the neck here. So on one side of the neck, hiding the knot inside. So this is our messy side, what goes inside. Placing the two sides together, get the wings out of the way. And we're going to do a blanket stitch. Okay, so with a blanket stitch, you start with one little stitch and then go a little bit further along, go into the felt and catch this little loop here. And we keep going like this, catch the little loop each time and it creates this lovely line of thread that will edge the project and give it a really nice finish. So we're going to go down the arm and once we reach the wrist, we don't want to forget the little hand. So it's a lot of small pieces to assemble, but it's really simple. You just need to take your time and make sure you don't forget anything. So if you forget to catch the little loop, you, you can still get it when when you see it there on the side, catch it. And then when we get to here, really simple, what we do is place the hand inside between the two pieces of blue felt, just a little hand showing through. And we're going to carry on the blanket stitch. So you go into the felt, come out into the hand, catch that little loop that we've kept at the front. Okay, so it's really important to work from the front of the project. And then we keep that nice running um, line showing at the front. Okay, so keep your loop at the front, come back into the felt and pull. And when you reach a corner, it's really important to place a little stitch inside the corner. And then just keep going until we reach the bottom where we'll put um, the boots. Okay, so again, when we have a corner here, I like to place a little stitch in diagonal into the corner and catch the thread here. And it keeps the blanket stitch really nice and neat all down the edge. Okay, so we've done about a quarter of the way down the bottom, I'm going to place our little foot inside. So like we did for the hand, just place it inside, quite a bit in so it really holds, and carry on the blanket stitch from the front. So you keep your loop of thread at the front, front of the project. And catch the loop.
Okay, so my thread is getting a little bit short. If you need to change it, it's really simple. You don't need to make a knot and start again. What I do is I just thread my needle again. So again, pulling one thread. And then just tie it to the piece that is left from where you, you stop sewing. Make a double knot really close to the edge of the felt. Don't worry about it being a little bit messy because then what we do is cut the surplus thread and hide all of this inside. So nobody will know. And you can carry on with your blanket stitch. Okay, so we're going to place the other foot. And again, keeping the loop at the front of the project. So I go through all layers of felt and then come back just into the red felt for the boot and catch that little loop. Then we want to carry on all the way back up to the neck. Okay, so I've sewn um, almost three quarters of the way and I'm going to keep this open for now without cutting my thread and just take the toy filling to put inside the robe. So we don't want to put too much because I think this looks quite nice when it keeps fairly flat, especially if you're going to hang it. Um, I think you don't want it to be too too big, you don't want your angel to be too fat. Just a little bit, just to give it a bit of shape. You could also add a little bit of scented things, so a bit of potpourri, or you could add some lavender to make it smell nice. And that could go straight into it with the toy filling. Okay, and then you just pick up your needle and carry on stitching all the way back up to the neck. Same blanket stitch. It's easier to get the wings out of the way.
and end your stitching with a little knot at the top. And we now have the body finished, completely finished. We just need to make the head and then attach it to the body. So for the head, we have the piece with the face on and the back of the halo that we're going to attach together with our little loop of ribbon. So for the ribbon, simply fold it in half to form a little loop. And what we're going to do is take the ends there and put them at the back of the face here, of the piece at the top of the head and simply hold it with a couple of small stitches. Okay, we don't want more than a couple of stitches. It, it's a very delicate ribbon and it's not heavy, so it will be fine. Okay, so when you've attached it, just keep your thread, do not cut it, keep it like this and then place the other halo piece at the back. So it hides all the, all the mess inside and you can carry on stitching with a blanket stitch down to the neck. And when we reach the neck, we are going to place it on top of the body. Okay, so when you so there, just get the little bunches out of the way. You don't want to stitch through them. And I'm not putting any toy filling inside the halo. I want to keep it completely flat. Okay, so as you can see, I'm reaching the bottom here. I don't want to forget to insert the body, so we are going to place the head on top of the body and carry on stitching. So when we stitch on the neck thing, we, we want to catch all layers of felt. It's really important. And to make sure you catch the robe. And again, because we're attaching pieces together, we want to sew from the front, so we do the blanket stitch from the front with the loop at the front. So it's a little bit tricky because you're only holding onto the little neck. It's really, really small and you don't have much to hold, but just take your time. And then just carry on stitching on the other side of the halo. So we are back up to the top. We want to stitch all the way to the ribbon. It's a good idea to catch the ribbon again, just to make sure it's nice and safe. And then we can make a little knot at the back, just behind the ribbon, so it's a little bit hidden. Get your thread. We have a little angel. So one nice finishing touch is to add some little bows around her bunches. I'll just quickly show you how to do this. Just with a little bit of thread, you just go from the back of the bunch to just here and just tie a little knot 
make a bow and then you can cut the ends of the thread. So uh, an easy way to do it is to make the bow really big and then just pull on the ends. Here, if you hold the knot, it usually stays. And then you can make it the size you want. Cut the ends. Do one on the other side. our little angel ready for Christmas. I hope you've enjoyed this project and I wish you a very happy Christmas. Bye bye!